Hello and welcome to the Health Proxen channel. This channel is where we provide tips and tricks on maintaining a fit and healthy lifestyle. In this video, you will learn a few tips on how to burn that stubborn belly fat and achieve the flat belly you have always wanted. So quickly, before I get into the video, please remember to like, share and subscribe to this channel if you like the video. Let's get started. What's up guys, it's about Mike Damson. Welcome to the video, The Plan to Lose Your Belly Fat Forever. In 2016, I was an extreme high body fat percentage and I shred down through the summer to get single digit body fat. However, I rebounded hard and I gained all that weight back and more. I shred it down in 2017 and that's how most of you guys met me. And I got back to single digit body fats, doing an insane amount of work following the four steps I've spoken about, which included diet, being in a caloric deficit, high intensity training in the gym, and number three was also the cardio, and four, which was the consistency that you needed for the three topics. However, this year is gonna be extremely different. I'm going to build lean muscle and maintain my dream physique, if not, even look better. In this video, I plan on telling you my extreme plan to lose your belly fat forever, and if you haven't lost it yet, this is also going to help you get on the right track. Let's go. So, today is a Friday, and I'll be going out today. And I've spoken about the four steps, and you've seen my very own transformations. But after I made those belly fat videos, I coached a number of people, a good portion, and with that, I got so many testimonials of people who use my Project Diamonds for the transformation, which I'll show you now. Guys, the four steps doesn't only work for me, but for anyone who's willing to put in the hard work. But the problem is, after you finish dieting, after you've spent 12 weeks, the problem is either A, you probably failed at the diet, or B, is that you started binge eating again right after. And that's how you regained all the belly fat, and exactly right now, that's exactly how I gained it. And I'm gonna show you my physique post-workout, so I'm gonna take you a future mic to show you what I look like after I've been lean bulking. So this is what we're looking like post-workout, and I think we are ready for tonight. So, in terms of diet, one, this video will contain everything in Project Diamonds that you really need, so you don't need to get Project Diamonds, but if you do want a step-by-step -step process, the link is in the description. Or, just stick around and watch the video and you'll get all the information you want. Now, in terms of diet, this video linked in the description, my extreme fat loss diet, that video is doing really well. I think it's at like 600,000, but that is the diet I used to shred down at my lowest body fat. But, to maintain my physique in the kitchen, the big idea, guys, is to be able to eat the food that you love when you're dieting. Flexible dieting. Get my fitness pal on your phone. And once you're done with your diet, don't go out every night and binge. You only need 300 calories worth of a surplus after your diet. This is the only amount of surplus that you need. If you eat any more than that, for maintaining your weight, you're going to gain all that weight back. So if your example at 2,500 to maintain your calories, you just need a piece of bread to be able to eat about 2,800 to be at a surplus. So when you diet down, eat foods you love. And when you're done, slowly go back up in calories and continue eating the foods you love, but in small, bigger portions over the time, you'll maintain your physique and you'll be happy. That is something I didn't learn. All I did was bitch. But let's go on to training. So, a lot of people 
always ask me, Mike, what is the difference between when you're cutting down to get to low body fat and when you're trying to maintain the physique you've worked for? When I'm cutting down, my rest periods are no longer than one minute. You want to keep your heart rate up so you're burning more calories. But I use Project Diamonds V2 the same on my off and on season. The only difference is when I'm off season, when I'm maintaining my physique, I'm just focusing on my compound lifts more. That's my squat, my bench press, my deadlift, and my overhead press. That's the only difference. And then I get a bit more rest periods when I'm off season. We're back from the gym. Let's talk about cardio, the third one on the list. So here, right here, you're saying on the side is the cardio plan I had for 10 to 12 weeks. And there it details how much cardio I did in the type. Now what do you do when you're done after your 12 weeks? And what I did and what a lot of people do is that they stop cardio completely. Now what cardio's function is, is to put your body in a greater caloric deficit to help you lose fat more. So now what happens is a lot of people stop doing cardio and you're putting your body in less of a caloric deficit. My advice, after you're done training or after your 12 weeks of training, don't drop cardio completely. But if you're having six times per week, drop it to four in the first week, then drop it to three in the second week, drop it to two and one and so on and so on until you're doing no cardio at all. Give it about a month, but slowly go back and you don't have to do intensive sprinting, but at least get some steps in or do more walking. For example, if you don't want to do cardio, what I did, I stopped cardio. I did two sessions per week. And then I used, I started to walk to and fro the gym. So that is my greatest advice in terms of cardio. Let's finish the video off for the final say. At the end of the video and the fourth point I wanted to make was consistency. You need to stay consistent. When you're dieting down, you need to stay consistent in terms of your diet, your training, and your cardio. And the same goes for when you're trying to maintain your body throughout the season. You need to stay consistent on your diet. You'll be eating more food, but stay consistent to it. Don't binge eat. Don't go out and have cheat days every day. In terms of cardio, slow it down completely. Try and do more walking. Be more active. That will help you burn calories. And then, in terms of training, I advise to be more intensive, lift more weight so you can burn more calories. 